What's up, everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad eighty nine here. Today we're gonna be doing a rad movie review. I'm gonna be talking about New Mutants. Yes, it's finally out. I got a chance to see it, so today we're gonna talk about it. So let's get down to this video. Roll it. So, New Mutants is directed by Josh Boone. It's starring Anya Taylor-Joy, Charlie Heaton, and Hazy Williams. It's definitely a movie that was going through a lot of drama. This film was slated to come out in 2018, and we finally got it now through Disney acquiring the rights of Fox and a bunch of other drama behind the scenes and editing and stuff going on in post-production. We finally got to see this film, so it's definitely a movie that I was surprised that even got a chance to see the small screen because all the theaters are closed down but let's start off with the positives of this movie so right off the bat the positives for me are going to be the actors in this movie all the kids in this movie even the doctor they got to be in this movie she's from predators i like her in that film they really did a good job of keeping me intrigued and interested in this movie and by far this isn't a story that stretches to give us anything that we haven't seen before it's not like the greatest new evolution of superhero movies but it's just simple and it's a very small tight-knit story and that's why I like it and these actors do a really good job of making me interested like I said in these characters so they carried this movie up a bunch for me I had high expectations back up back in the day but as time went on my lower my expectations lowered and everything because all the drama and for us like waiting this long to even get to see the movie but the actors did a really good job despite all the rewrites and all the editing and all the stuff that went on for this film. So that is an A plus for me. The story was definitely, like I said, it was a small time story. Definitely a tight knit story. They didn't stretch too far to connect it to a lot of the other mutant films or anything like that. So it's nothing deep like that. So that's good for me. I like the fact that it was a small tight knit story. So that was a positive. Also, the CGI I like in this film. It's like I'm not a huge fan, but the CGI in this film was still really good. It looked great, and it was a little bit not too much like overuse or nothing like that. So that's why I enjoyed it a lot, too. That was a great added to the movie. <clears throat> and like I said, the actors, they just do really good portraying their characters and making you believe these characters. Some of the dialogue... And like the dialect, like coaching, like their way their voices sound and stuff, some of that's kind of off, but it's still a really good film in that aspect. Now let's get on to talking about the negatives. Now as for the negatives of this film, it's definitely going to be the fact that they have, you can tell there were so many writers or so many ideas going on around the table when they were trying to develop this movie that it's just... It has so many holes in like the backstories and connection of the stories and just the stuff that the writers and directors want you to believe. Like the fact that these kids are all locked in this hospital with just one doctor. There's nobody else in this hospital. Like and just the other stuff that like kind of the characters and the way they act doesn't fit some of the stuff that's connected with their backstory. So it kind of seems like they had a different writer come in and write their backstories and maybe another one write the actual story and they like try to connect everything so it's definitely not the best version of the story we could have gotten we definitely could have got a better version for sure so that was kind of a negative and like I said there's just some weird things that they ask you to believe and there's far stretches in the film and stuff like that where it's just there's a lot of dialogue it's more of like a breakfast club style type mutants movie so it's not really it's not really scary they advertise it and did the trailers like it was going to be a hardcore kind of horror aspect film in the mutant universe but it doesn't come off like that at all it's very more breakfast club style and there's nothing wrong with that but just the way they advertised it is very different there's some dialogue that's in the trailers that's not even in the actual movie they rewrote a lot of things so just some things doesn't fit i've seen a lot of the cutout scenes that they took out of the movie there's about 15 minutes that they cut from the film and it definitely would have made it a more teeny bopper style film instead of making it more horror they kind of shortened it went along with more of the jump scares and stuff like that so overall it's definitely a film that could have been better but it could have been so much worse like for all the drama and all the stuff going on behind the scenes and what happened and finally getting to see this movie like I said my expectations got lowered and 
it did exceed them. It does uh, surpass a lot of the other like X Men movies that have come out, like Wolverine Origins that won, <clears throat> and the X Men Last Stand. Like this film, I think is better than those movies. So New Mutants definitely exceeded my expectations of what I thought it was going to be. So overall, in my book, this film is going to get a seven out of ten. It's definitely a rent. Definitely a good watch for sure. You'll enjoy it. Like I said, it's not going to stretch too far and give you something you've never seen before, but it's a very tight, good story, short little film with some good character acting in it that you could enjoy, some good action sequences, but overall, like I said, it's definitely a good rent for sure, and it exceeded my expectations. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and stay up to date on all the videos that I post and everything. And leave your comments down below. I would love to hear from all of you telling me what you thought of the film. Or if you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. Then tell me what you thought of it. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Peace out.